Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rin. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Before I get into the bulk of the video, I just want to take a minute to say a huge thank you to everyone for getting me to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for taking the time to comment, thinking that taking the time to like my videos, taking the time to subscribe. I know life is really busy and time is very precious, so the fact that somebody took time out of their day to support me really means a lot. Thank you so, so much. I, I thank you. I don't even know how to express in words how appreciative I am of each one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I've had a couple requests over the past week for me to do a tutorial on how I draw people and how I draw bodies. And I really thought hard about how to do this because I by no means am a teacher and I am a self-taught artist as well. So I don't feel like I'm really qualified to teach anatomy or proper technique, but I still wanted to make a video to let people see my process and I was hoping that would kind of fill the gap there so people could still see how I draw people but don't take any of my personal techniques as like the proper way to draw because I am very stylized and in my intentional stylization I tend to break a lot of proper techniques so if you are somebody who has requested a tutorial for me please do not watch this video as like a tutorial for how to do like proper technique and anatomy. Please click off this video, type in how to draw proper anatomy into YouTube and I can guarantee, I know I've seen videos pull up before, I've watched videos on proper anatomy. Somebody else who is much more qualified than me <laughs> will be able to teach you proper anatomy. And I would highly recommend learning it before doing stylized art. A great piece of art advice that I heard um, from Sam Does Arts on YouTube, he said you need to learn the rules before you break them. And I highly, highly recommend that. And I also want to say that I am still learning. I think like that is how all creative fields are. You are constantly learning. I don't know that we can ever master any form of creative expression. All that to say, if you are watching this video as like, how do I draw this? Take all of my techniques with a grain of salt and figure out what works best for you because that is part of developing your own art style as well. This video has been super hard for me to record. That purple piece of paper on the girl with the long dress, that is not there for aesthetics. That is there because I was so nervous that I started that drawing over so many times that my paper started to like pill and wear thin and it needed some extra reinforcement so that's not just for aesthetic sketching on camera just makes me so nervous because i am self-taught and because i am very stylized i get very nervous i'm going to get comments about how i'm drawing things and i erase a lot because i am very particular and very perfectionistic also i'm not a huge fan of sketching on camera because sketching is very therapeutic for me and as much as i love filming things i do feel like i have to be very focused but to talk about my personal sketching style a little bit. One of the biggest things I always think of when I am drawing anything, whether it's people, animals, food, whatever it is I'm sketching out, nature, the best piece of art advice that I have been given was by my mom a really long time ago when she told me I needed to work on my lines and I didn't understand at the time what that meant because it's something that's super hard to explain in words but like all my lines were very very straight I don't know how to explain this because like there is in some cases like structured lines do look really good and they are their own form of stylization but now i try to think about kind of exaggerating curves exaggerating shape a big thing i always choose to do is i like to make the necks more slender that is not proper like technique and anatomy your neck should be thicker on your art but for some reason i just never like the way it looks with all of my stuff so that is one thing i do i just like to think about making my lines very visually interesting i try to think what can i push enough that it's visually interesting but not too far that it just doesn't look right so a big part of me sketching out people and just sketching in general is I tend to just kind of block out where I want shapes to be just really roughly, very, very sketchy. And then I will go back later and I'll clean up all those lines and really get things set how I want them once I get like the basic shape that I enjoy looking at down.
Also, only for you, YouTube, would I ever draw tennis shoes like this. I extremely dislike sh drawing shoes. I really struggled with that right shoe getting the side angle right. I, and I finally at the end was just like, forget it. I'm just going to draw it the way I always draw shoes. It's a very simplified shoe drawing, but that is how I've drawn shoes forever. Another thing in my style I really like to do is make the hair as big as I possibly can. Again, without it looking too big. I love to make the hair really big and the shoes bigger. If you guys would like to hear me talk about finding your own art style, let me know in the comments down below. But just to like really quickly sum up my thoughts on, on everyone's personal art style, I really would think that our own personal art style, you as an individual, your personal art style is just the sum of all the art you look at and you love. So part of me making the hair kind of big and the shoes on the bigger size is me loving the art from Kingdom Hearts, which is a video game series. I don't know why I didn't mention in my like introductory video that I love gaming because I love gaming. I have done gaming art multiple times now, but that's part of why I enjoy making the hair a little bit bigger and the shoes a little bit bigger. Once I got to this drawing, I started to feel much more comfortable and I could tell I was kind of settling into filming and sketching. So I really like how this one turned out. The girl in the long dress, I don't really like how she turned out <laughs> because I was so nervous and so stiff drawing her. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully if I do the, if you guys like seeing sketch with me videos from me, let me know. They are definitely the quickest for me to film. So let me know down below if you enjoy seeing me do sketch with me videos and I can try and do more of them in the future if you like them. And real quick, I am trying to do a short every day this month for Inktober. I doubt I will make it every single day because I just do not have that kind of time. But please do check those out too. And it's the mandatory time of the video where the introvert has run out of things to talk about. So I hope as always you enjoyed this last little bit just watching me sketch. video that's the finished art i love working with pencils i think they're just so nice and so convenient to work with you have a tablet and a pencil that has an eraser built into it what else do you need you can just take that stick it in your bag take it with you everywhere makes life simple anyway thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in the next video remember to be kind and stay cozy bye